Atomic Heart is a game for PC and consoles. It was released in the end of February 2023. The plot takes place on the grounds of Facility 3826, the Soviet Union's foremost scientific research hub in an alternate history. The game is inspired by the Bioshock series and explores the utopia of an alternative world that takes place in an alternative Soviet Union of 1955. The release was very controversial. Concerns have been raised regarding the game's heavily pro-Soviet themes, as well as the activities of both developer Mundfish and its investors. Those concerns include, but are not limited to, the use of glorification of Russia in marketing and the apparent origins of Mundfish as a Russian entity, including the reported investment in Mundfish by Russian companies. The release nearly coincides with the first year anniversary of the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. But this video is not just another one focusing on this topic. I decided to try the game. I have few video cards from the NVIDIA GTX 600 series and decided to check can I play with them. I currently own five cards from this generation, GT640, GTX 650, GTX 650 Ti Boost, and two GTX 670, one from Zotac and one from MSI. I decided to use three of them. The GTX 650 is from Palette and has a micro HDMI port, not a regular full-size one. I don't have such cable, so I can't use the card. And I decided to use just one GTX 670, probably the better one. The MSI one has better cooling. It has two fans and it weights more. The Zotac card is with just one blower fan. The cards are from 2012 or 11 years ago. Let's start with the least powerful video card. NVIDIA released five different variants of GT640. This one from Asus is more or less in the middle. It is using Kepler GPU architecture and 2 GB of DDR3 memory. I am using the lowest quality preset, but the struggle in 1080p is real. The FPS is between 11 and 13, but that's to be expected. This is the weakest card today. Lowering the resolution to 7 and 20p bumps the FPS to around 1820. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility. Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility A warm welcome to your future. And sinners. <laughs> the of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the collective 2.0 network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled. The next card is GTX 650 Ti Boost. It is a much faster card than the 640, and it's a factory overclocked from MSI. The memory is 2 GB again, but the type is GDDR5, which provides better performance in general. The gameplay in 1080p is around 30 FPS, which is playable, with low graphics and at the Greetings minimum FPS, comments. but it is playable. I am the biggest Repent, sinners! <laughs> Welcome to your 
Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, no, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention. The last card today is GTX 670. The manufacturer is MSI again, but it is much beefier. It is heavy in the hand. The exact model is MSI GTX 670 Power Edition OC, and it's factory overclocked. It has twin frozer fans, and according to MSI, it is 20 degrees Celsius cooler and 11.7 decibels quieter than reference card. The FPS with the GTX 670 is around 50-60 FPS, without proper cleaning of the card. It is with dust and old thermal paste, as it is in real life in your computer. Repent, sinners! <laughs> no. If we don't want to play with 99% load on the card, we can turn on in-game FPS limiter. If we set the FPS limit to 30, the GPU utilization is around 60-70%. But there is one big issue you need to know about. If you are playing with Xbox Game Pass, an older card like NVIDIA 600 series generation, the game will crash every time on the same place. It is happening when you are trying to get in a car. The scene is in the beginning of the game. There are workarounds for the issue, but for the Steam version only. With Xbox Game Pass, it is not possible, or at least it's not easy. I found a hacky way using something called Cheat Engine but I don't want to try it on my personal machine. If we check the minimum system requirements of the game, the listed video cards are AMD Radeon R9 380 or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 with 4 GB VRAM and DirectX version 12. So we can't blame the developers, but if you want to play with older card, Think carefully. <laughs> 